Let's kick some shell! Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm gonna show you how to get scan lines in TMNT Shredder's Revenge. I'll try and keep this as quick as possible. But yeah, it looks epic, man. 2K with uh, scan lines, super nice. Unfortunately, they didn't put scan lines in the game, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do that, so let's move on. Alright, so there's two files we need. We need to go to Reshade and download the Reshade 5.2.1. And we need to go to GitHub and get this. So once you have both of these, we're going to install it, and I'm going to show you what to do. All right, so first we're going to install Reshade. Just go find your TMNT, this one you want right here. So go find your TMNT execution file, click Next. Pick Microsoft DirectX 10, 11, 12. I'm actually going to uninstall this and do it again just to make sure I get the updated version. And if you install the wrong one, like say you install OpenGL or Vulkan, uh, that really depends on your setup, I guess. For me, I'm using NVIDIA, so DirectX uh, 11 is what I want. But yeah, we're going to redo this here. I just wanted to show you guys that because it's a good way. If you install the wrong thing, you can uninstall it that way. So next... DirectX 11, next. Select preset to install, we can skip that. Click next. We can uncheck all of these. Click next. Finish. And then we have our uh, shader packs here. We're going to copy the texture and the shaders folder from that zip file and just drag and drop that to the reshade shaders as we go inside this folder. This is uh, the two, two folders we're, we're copying over to right here. So again, if that was confusing, just highlight both of these. Go inside your TMNT reshade shaders folder and just copy that over. So we're going to launch TMNT now. I'm running in 2K here, so I'll show you the resolution that I've got set up. So Reshade is now installed successfully. Press home to start the tutorial. So the home button on the keyboard, press that. You don't really need to go through this, so I'm just going to skip it. And I'm going to click active to top. So this is what I'm using. It's already in here. It's remembered it from my previous install. But if it's not in alphabetical order, you can click active to top and it'll it'll alphabetize it. So scroll down, find your scan lines, abs.fx, click that, act at the top. Now with 2K 320 seems to be the sweet spot. If you're using a 1080p monitor, you might want to try like 720. Um, that's worked really good for me in the past using a 1080p monitor. But yeah, you can just play around with it and see what's, what scan line height works for you. Another cool thing you can do is if you go to settings, you can uh, assign a toggle button. So if you double click here, you can press space. And now if you press home to hide this menu, home on your keyboard. You can toggle the uh, effects on and off, right? So that wraps up the tutorial for tonight. Hope this helps you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend. And I'll leave you guys with a bit of gameplay here. See you on the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm. Did you guys know if you hold the one attack button, you'll do a charge move? Oh, oh no. Yeah, I, I did see that, but That's... I haven't been doing it. Like, it sends them flying into each other, too. It's pretty good. Breaks shields. Guard there breaks. There we go. Let's go. This is sweet. And then... Isn't there, like, team attacks in this game or something? 
if you want to grab guys and throw them around, you, you literally just walk up to them and grab them like yeah. that, and then you can hold yeah. forward, up, or down. Up is to do your slam back and forth, like from Turtles in Time, and then down wow. is your screen toss. And there's actually a fucking never. boss battle where you have to throw them at the screen. Like, what are you doing, oh, really? man? It's yeah. like, it's in the technical oh, cool. baby. Wingnut. I think it's... No, no, not Wingnut. It's, uh... Chrome Dome? I think it's Chrome Dome. It's like near the end, kind of. <laughs> yeah, I think it was like level 14 I did that. I was like, this is 14? So Jesus, that many stages, Jesus. I think there's 16 in total. You guys want to hear mm. something fucking cool, though? What? When I was looking through the achievements today. Mm. There's an achievement in there that says, like, finish the season. Or, like, complete the season, which is just like a beating, a, beating the game achievement. But they're, mm -hmm. it, they're calling it a season, man. And I remember seeing, like, an interview with the developers where they were answering questions. And someone asked them if there's, like, DLC coming. Like, when people thought Casey Jones was going to be GLC or whatever. And they pretty much said, like, they're just going to see how the game does before they mm -hmm. confirm any DLC. But, like, they totally left it open-ended calling it a season, man. And every level is mm -hmm. an episode, right? And if you think yeah. of, like, how many fucking seasons there were of this show, man, like, this could potentially be, like, a mega platform if they keep going with it, dude. Yeah, I really hope that this game sells well. I mean, it did get a lot of, like, advertising and oh, stuff, I so I, I really hope it does well. I think it'll sell good, man. It's, like, 25 bucks right now. Like, who wouldn't pay yeah, for this? Pretty affordable. Oh, yeah, and it's also on Game Pass, too, so it's free, I guess, for other people. But, yeah, so they're, they're no, making a the percentage hell. of the Game Pass, or however that works. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how I think going to play it because right now it's fifty dollars for three months of Game Pass. I know, right? So I was like, I, I should just sign up for that because I'm probably just going to play this game, beat it, and you know, be done with it for a while. But then I'm like, you know what? Like you hear all the time that day one sale is so important for like whether or not the game is does well or not. So I'm like, yeah, I want to support these guys. It was only twenty bucks. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. $20 Canadian, which is like, you know, 2 or $3 American, so... Yeah, yeah. Where, where's the Wu-Tang crap? <laughs> Can you listen to Wu-Tang being on the West Coast? I don't know if you're in the hip-hop at all. Oh, sorry, what's up? <laughs> I said, are you allowed to listen to Wu-Tang being on the West Coast? I don't know if you're in the hip-hop at all. Oh, not so much. <laughs> no, shit. <laughs> Big beat, the West Coast. Uh. I mean, there was. That was probably the one that we thought. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, I totally missed my freaking. I really like this, like, jump attack when you hit X and A. Well, yeah, that's like an uppercut launcher, I guess, or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's really good against guys. Check this Ooh. out. Mikey's got the Liu Kang freaking bicycle kick. Oh, really? Oh, dude, that's awesome. <laughs> you should do the. That'd be so like awesome. That... Oh, my God. What the heck was that girl's name? Like Kitty Boo Boo or something? It was like that kid with the fat mom. Oh, yeah. Honey. Honey Boo Boo. Honey Boo Boo? Honey Boo -Boo? I don't know if I heard of that one. Dollar makes you holla. <laughs> what? Man, she's like an American dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't wow. know. <laughs> someone, someone photoshopped it though, where the the little girl is Krang, and then uh, the mom is like <laughs> whatever, whatever. Uh, yeah, look that up sometime. I'm curious now. <laughs> yeah, her mom was a total pig, dude. She was yeah. something. I'm, else. I'm, yeah, I'm so sorry, man. I, I gotta look this up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, honey, boo boo, Krang. It's like. Are we? So is she? Yeah, is yeah, she yeah, like oh, yeah. grotesquely fat like her mom now? No. I, don't, I don't even know, but like that. Oh man, I, I'm almost in tears. <laughs> That's perfect, dude. That's, That's awesome. Amazing. <laughs> they zoom in on this. Oh uh, my god, That's so good. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. All right. We ready for the next one? 